joined by Ice Caps defenseman Johnny and Brie at an Ice Caps 360. And thanks, Brie, for this opportunity. Boy, big homestand, uh, you know, so far six games gone already. It's insane how much hockey this team has played. And now the Marlies here Friday night and a quick turnaround Saturday afternoon. What's the mindset like in the room? Uh, team confident. Uh, we approach the first game. We'll take care of the first game and then 2 o'clock or 7 o'clock, it's a game. So uh, big four points on the line. Uh, we, we need those points. Uh, and that's 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 our mindset. It's amazing how quickly uh, January has come after after Christmas and all the travel you guys did and all the games you played to come home here and see it go as rapidly as it is. Almost into February now, every team in this division is all battling for their playoff lives. Is that a little sooner than normal? Uh, it'd be hard to say. Uh, but that's that's when we're going to start separate the boys from the men. You know, a lot of teams are playing 500 right now, and that's when the next 10 or 12 game stretch is going to be very important for all the teams. Uh, we're well aware of that. Mm -hmm. uh, we know that that next dozen games is going to set ourselves either in a good spot or in a in a spot we don't want to be. Uh, so it starts this weekend. Yeah, that's a great point. Marley's, uh, you know, we're at the top of the ledger, and then they tumbled almost down to the bottom, and they're trying to get themselves back slowly but surely. But you guys always have terrific competitive games, physical, emotional, you expecting more of the same? Uh, exactly the same. And they're trying to climb their way back. They're, they're way better than the, their record shows probably since Christmas. Uh, so, yeah, we're, it's going to be a battle. All the games are, but... Toronto, St. John, St. John, Toronto. We know what that is. And especially when you see those blue and white jerseys in the crowd almost matching Les Bleu Bains Rouge. Yeah, uh, it's, a, it's a crowd that's uh, it's going to be probably a divide a little bit. So uh, we're going to make sure that we uh, bring her by our side. Well, Julian, obviously after this weekend series, a much-needed break for the All-Star uh, game down in Lehigh Valley, and then the team will leave again on another road trip, all down to do with the Keystone State against three really, really good hockey clubs in the uh, Wilkes-Barre, Scranton Penguins, the Hershey Bears, your former team, and the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. I don't want to look too far ahead, but is that a make-it-or-break-it trip maybe? Uh, some, some people will say that for sure. Uh, but I, I like her competitiveness on the road. Uh, I don't think we're a team that's afraid to play on the road. Uh, and we're used to play teams back to back. So uh, we're probably going to do that a lot, seeing those Wilkesbury Hershey, Hershey back to back. I know it's hard to win two games in a row. Uh, but hey, at the end of the day, we know how we went on the road, and I think that's, that might be a good thing for us. And the last one for you, congrats on you getting your AHL contract, which you richly deserved and certainly earned. But I want to ask you, as one of the, the quiet leaders of this team, how much confidence does this group have uh, getting some bodies back, getting some players from Montreal, and as you start to see your roster round out with good support and depth, what's the confidence level like of this team, whether it's playing at home or going away? Uh, it, it, it's, it's a very good. Uh, we have a lot of players now that can fill different roles. I think uh, once we figure that out to, to a T, uh, I think that everyone is just going to start rolling. Uh, and we know that winning teams at some point, they put a, a good stretch of wins together. Uh, and that's where we're looking toward for. Um, but yeah, at the end of the day, I think you know, if someone's having a hard time right now, we've got to pick him up. Uh, I think that's something we're ready to do. Thanks for this, Julian, and congratulations again, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you, Russ.